Never have I seen such a frosty winter in Northrend. Ever. I am the physical embodiment of ice and cold. Do not icy wind of Northrend shall consume you. I am frostbite. Have at thee, foul wizard. Your end is nigh. I see wind. Ah. I see. Today, elf, but I am a force of nature. I will come back every year and haunt you no, for eternity. Looks like he couldn't handle the heat. Frostbite is a condition where the skin is exposed to cold temperatures for a long period of time. The temperature would have to be below zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The first step of frostbite is frost nip. This is when the skin turns red and itching and numbness occurs. Frost nip can uh, be treated easily through uh, staying in a warm area or soaking it, the area with warm water. None of the tissue is damaged. The permanent effects, there are none. The second uh, step is chills blain. That is more serious and there could be some permanent damage. It does go through the first layer of skin and this will leave blisters that will take a month to heal. The permanent damage is that you may be uh, more lack of feeling for cold or heat in that area that was affected. The final stage is called frostbite itself and that is where your muscles, nerves, and skin die. The area affected may have to be removed through amputation or may even fall off, such as the fingers, if they were affected. This can be treated like the other two steps. However, once you get to frostbite, it's harder to treat. And uh, the reason frostbite happens is because when you're in a cold temperature, the body wants to protect itself by sending blood to the core near your heart. So anything farther away from the heart will be more prone to get frostbite. This is a defense system so that you will stay warm, your core temperature will stay leveled, and that the parts that matter won't get damaged. However, this will leave you with uh, dead extremities. So stay warm when you're in the cold, and have a nice winter, and wear gloves when you sled and toboggan, and uh, keep those hearts afire.